Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Sun. Uh, when we left off, they had the Mercury Lighthouse had been lit and uh, the people of Emil are now walking around because they've got the flowing water of Hermes to heal them up now. So it's time for Mia to say her goodbyes to the village of Emil and then we can go on to save Tret the Tree. Mia! We were worried that you wouldn't come back. I'm so sorry, you two. Mia, we have a problem. The Mercury Lighthouse, it, it's been lit. Mia, you already knew? I was there. What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. Hey, how should I tell you? You have something you say? What is it? Well, I, I, uh, I, I'll be joining Isaac on his, on his quest. It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. You said the world would be in danger if the lighthouse was lit, right? Is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? Yes, that's right. Then there's nothing we can do. We can't. We won't try to stop you then. After all, you are trying to protect the Mercury clan. Yes. Yes, I am. As members of the Mercury clan, we will protect the Mila Thels. So don't worry, okay? I will try hard and learn to heal as well as you, Mia. Okay. I'll leave the village in your... In your hands, Megan, Justin, we can leave without any worries now. Alright, let's go then. Mia has said her goodbyes. Does she see, oh, oh, round and round and round we go. Does she need to say goodbye to Grandpa and Grandma? I found Pat Fountain Water really made Grandpa healthy. Oh good, he's good again. Did I really say I was going to die from that disease? Yes, you did. <laughs> I must have been really sick to feel say that. I'm good for another 30 years. Let me get back to work. <laughs> well, Grandpa, kicking around, doing a tap dance now. Woohoo! Ah, the gnomes and the... Oh, Garrett's still dead. Whoops. Should probably go heal him up. Um, before too much longer. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is I'm probably just going to fast forward a little bit till we get to, um, Kalima Forest, uh, because it's just journey through lands that we've already been and I don't think there's anything really too different than, um, what we've already seen, so let's do a little bit of a fast forward to get to that point. Oh dear! The trees! The Tower of Trees has been knocked over! They crossed the river after pushing us down. This is terrible. How could anyone do that? She'll be swept downstream if she wasn't pulled to shore. Hey? Ah! Oh, please, anyone! Please help! Alright. Just, uh, just running us over here. Thank you. You saved me from being washed downstream. All right. Cool. So when Satoros and Minardi ran through, they knocked down the tree tower. How rude! How absolutely atrociously rude of them! I wish there was like a shortcut to get through this bit, so I didn't have to constantly um be solving the puzzles of this, battling. Possibly just battling monsters that are just now far too weak for me. Like, look at this. This will be a cinch. Boosh Dao, he's dead. Rat Sword's dead. And then Boosh Dao, he's dead. Right, cool. Didn't even take a scratch. Anyway, I'll see you when we reach Trap. Alright, here we are. Back here. Tread the tree. Oh, except this brute. Just, okay. 
you just what are you doing you troll freaking just die get out of my way not even using any powers on you just attacking you gosh don't do that again no oh, he's quiet because he feels like he's going to die but we will use the hermes water on him the water of hermes seeped into tret Ooh. The sparkles that are all over the forest are gone. I feel a great power spreading through me. Hmm. Life flows within me once again. Tret. Tret. As you have recovered, so has our forest. I am so sorry to have worried you so long. And you, young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Yes, yes we did. Yes, Tret, you must turn the people of Kalima into humans again. Yes, that's right. I must hurry. Ooh, that looks like a better magical power there. That should do it. The people of Kalima are cursed no more. Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Gems from the sky? Do you think he means the Cyanergy Stones? Yep, yes he did. You really think Cyanergy Stones could have caused all this trouble? I was indeed angry that people had laid waste to my forest. They had even taken their axes to me. Then those gems fell into my branches. And all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me, and I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control. Have any of the saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? Only the elder trees were affected by the falling cyanergy stones. There are others that this happened to? So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. You must not. You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters. Maybe they were just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart. Mm. Those gems have brought a great evil to the world. Ooh, you cursing some more people? Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait, you will soon see. What did you see, Laurel? It's true. Even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river? The river that feeds our forest. Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. Will you be heading south across the river? Yes. Yes, we will. That's, I guess. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you'd better hurry. I owe you a great debt. You have saved Kalima, the forest, and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Now that I have such power, no axe will ever touch me again. You may depart with no worries. Okay, let's go. The forest of Kalima is alive once again, thanks to you. We shall protect the forest from now on. What happens if we mind read? Must be horrible by and so worried about you and your friends, Isaac. Okay. What does Tret think? What is he? What are you thinking? I know that I cannot stop you. But please be careful beyond the river. Oh, they're both worried about us. Both of them are worried about us now. Anyway, I would go across the river right now. Oh. I really want my reward. 
from Bil Bilibin. Um, before I go to Kalima and talk to them and or anything, I really want my award for. Uh... Oh, hello. Hey, you're that guy. Jill, are these the people who saved you? Remember me? I was that tree. I would have been swept down the river if it wasn't for you. Please, take this. It's a small token of my appreciation. Jill gave Isaac a special gift. Ooh, a hard nut. <laughs> I'll never forget me what you've done for me. <laughs> oh, the gate's open now. <laughs> Is that a metaphor for something? <laughs> That's just... <laughs> okay. Whew. Moving on from that. No more suggestive comments. Hey, you're that tree. I was turned into a tree for a while. Can you believe it? Yeah. I think I know what it means to sink your roots into one place. But I wouldn't recommend it to anyone else. Right, go to talk to Lord McCoy. Give me, give me, give me my reward, boy. Oh, it's... Oh, oh, sir! We've been looking everywhere for you. The curse of the holy tree. You're the ones that broke it, right? Yes, yes, I am. You're under arrest. Wait, what? Let's go. Lord McCoy is waiting. <laughs> yes, I... I saved the curse. You're under arrest. What? We've brought the warriors, my lord. <clears throat> so... You're the wee, I mean, brave lads I've met before. What were your names again? He, he's Isaac, sir, and I'm Gar Garrett. I'm called Ivan. And I'm Mia, from the village of Emil. Isaac and company. And I, de did I not decline your offer when we first met? Yes, yes you did. I didn't give it enough consideration back then. And yet you went to open the you you went on to open the curse despite my words, did you not? Know? Yes. I humbly thank you. I was worried. You I was worried you might not stop here on your way back. I want to show you my appreciation for your help. I relied on my own money, but I forgot about my people's needs. You reminded me of my duties. <laughs> you said two E's. As lord of these lands, I will do my best for everyone's behalf. Oh, Isaac, it would honour me greatly if you'd accept a wee token of me gratitude. I could give it to you here, but would you now rather choose it yourself? Yeah, actually, yeah. Very well. You can choose something that'll help you along your way. I will show Isaac and his friends the way, my lord. Many thanks to you. And to your companions as well. Visit me any time. You'll always find a warm heart here. Alright. Cool. Follow me and I'll take you to the treasure room. The treasure room. We're going to the treasure room. Oh, we get to pick one of the four chests. Lord McCoy ordered that Isaac and his companions be brought here. Please show them their reward. You may select a single item from among these four chests. Hmm. Sniff, 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 sniff. Can we, can we mind read what's in them? These courageous warriors deserve to receive me, Lord's trust. Okay, what do you know what's... Nonetheless, if your luck is sour, you may end up an item you do not need. Well, let's do number three, then. Psy Crystal. Well, luck's sour, then. Sour luck. <laughs> I don't think we need a Psy Crystal. Water of Life would have been ideal, but I don't, I don't think we're going to get that now. It's, it's done. All right, what do you want? My palace is not finished. McCoy loves that holy tree more than he loves me. He said he stopped construction so that I would not be cursed. I think he's just trying to weasel out of his promise. I think you're just a stupid old lady. You already got a palace. Just quit your whining. Quit your whining, woman. Move on with your life. Gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Anyway, that'll have to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll go to Kalima and then we will 
head south across the river, beyond Kalima, to lands uncharted, lands we do not know yet what exists beyond. That makes sense. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Bye.